So on YouTube last year, I came across a theme park documentary called Billion Dollar Parks. It's a great documentary, just under an hour long, and if you want to watch it, I'll put a link on the top right hand corner so you can watch it after this video. Now the thing that caught me up by surprise and made me want to make this video is there's a segment within this documentary that talks about a UK Universal Studios theme park that was planned and was meant to be built. Could we ever see a movie theme park on this scale in the UK? I think there's a way you could create a unique uh, English park that's based upon English authors and, and the characters from, from literature that would be unique, would be, would be beloved by the local resident market, and would be a great attraction for tourists like myself if I was coming over with my family. We would, I mean, imagine I could go to a theme park where I, I could take my daughter to, you know, the home of Alice in Wonderland and, and down Baker Street and, uh, and uh, maybe to uh, where 007 is and, and, and then over to Peter Pan, you know, and Kensington Gardens. And, and, you know, there's just a whole wealth of things that are already international icons that people know these stories all around the world. A race is now on for major studios and entrepreneurs to identify key sites in the UK. Two top ex-Disney executives have been hired to create the UK's very own state-of-the-art movie theme park. Their target is Leavesden Studios in Hertfordshire. If you were to spend the next five years trying to find a site in the United Kingdom, uh, you couldn't find a better site. It is absolutely perfect from every vantage point. The local marketplace, which is defined as <coughs> a day's drive, that is, you could come to this attraction, enjoy yourself, and go home in a day, is somewhere around 30 million people. Uh, essentially, nine months ago, we had nothing. Uh, today, we have our master plan complete. We're under construction with our infrastructure, and we have a wonderful foundation of creative work. I, I think our task is really going to be quite interesting because there is a huge wealth of creative talent here in the United Kingdom. Uh, and what has perhaps been missing is just the catalyst and the leadership that has experience in major tourist attractions and destinations to bring it all together. And I think for the most part we'll be using uh, UK talent to assist us in bringing this project to fruition. I don't know about you, but I had no idea until I watched this documentary that there was even plans or they even considered building a park in the UK. So as soon as I finished watching this documentary, I went online and did some research about this park. Now I couldn't find much information about the park apart from a few concept art images from Pinterest about a Universal Studios Europe concept. This was made back in 1996 and the lands would have included television land, cartoon land, cine walk and movie land. Now the park's main feature, like the Disney castles, would be a massive skyscraper with King Kong hanging off the top, with roller coaster track in his hand, which is part of a roller coaster at the park. That roller coaster is a Back to the Future roller coaster, which is kind of like the park's Hulk roller coaster. When I was making the Swarm Shot documentary, I decided to add some extra questions on about this Universal Studios kind of park idea, and here's their response. I would love to see a universal uh, park somewhere in Europe or the UK. So, um, I'd love to see just another park in the UK in general, another a big park, something on the scale of like Disneyland Paris, uh, just to kind of give competition to the Merlin parks. So if, if there was one going to be built in Europe, I'd really hope for it to be in the UK. Definitely. Um... I really love Universal, I've just been, um, but the one thing, like, the one problem I have with it is it's not a hugely thrilling park, which I think is something the UK already has, but the dark rides that it could offer to the UK would be brilliant. Uh, yeah, I'd love to, because they are great at theming. I'd, I'd probably just put it down to investment, that at the moment other sites in the world look more appealing. Like, the Middle East, there's been a lot of investment into theme parks in the Middle East and a lot of investment in theme parks in China. Uh, I guess those are growing markets and they're a bit more appealing to investors, whereas, you know, the European market is kind of quite solidified. 
So I imagine it's partially to do with that. Maybe they just don't think that a park will do well in Europe, which is probably untrue. But um, that's what I'd probably assume anyway. I think it's purely down to the fact that Universal are uh, mainly focusing on their other parks at the moment and they're slowly going to expand out here. Merlin also is the main market. Well, actually, I, I actually don't know. I, I've got no idea why. I really don't. both is i'd like to see both i'd like to see the iconic attraction oh well slightly modified versions of the iconic attractions that we've already seen before and then some new stuff that is more relatable to the european market i definitely prefer to see both just because then you'll kind of still get the universal feel from it but it's also different it also gives you a reason to visit this other park uh compared to say the, the universal parks in the states or Middle East or whatever. Um, so a, a mix of both I, I would prefer. Oh, um, Of course, a few good dark rides. Um, I'd like to see stuff that's not purely IP-based, with like Universal Films, of course, because that's one thing I hate about the park. There's not much unique stuff. Because, of course, the Florida one, you've literally got Harry Potter, Marvel superheroes, um and then just like just their films and whatever, it's all just based around the film. There's nothing like unique about it. Because I think IPs really limit the capability of the park, which is shown in the swarm or whatever, how well they've been able to do in theming wise and everything. It's one thing I really do not like about Disney is their Paris park is pretty much a smaller replica of their Florida park. I think if Universal could create something brand new just for the UK, it would, it would be much better. Uh, a hyper coaster by B and M, an intimate launch coaster, and a few dark rides, more European based. So it would be a, new, a, a unique theme park, you know. It's it's very difficult to say yes or no when I mean it's constantly being delayed, but at the same time, they seem to be slowly making progress, and I feel like they've got so far into it that pack, backing out now would just be a huge waste of investors' money. So I'd like to think that they're going to go through with it and it will be built, but I'm probably like 50-50 on it um, in reality. Well, look, with the way it's going at the moment, I don't because it's been pushed back at like 2023 now, I think. Something stupidly like long and it, I just don't think it's ever going to happen with the way it keeps getting pushed back, transferred company and everything. No. Well, the theme park may be built, but it won't be... A Paramount theme park that's already confirmed. I, I think the theme park will be built, but it won't it won't live up to people's expectations, I think. Um I would because it's thirty minute drive for me to London, so yeah. Yeah, I would probably. Because it's so close to London, you know. And I, I, I visit London quite often for somebody who doesn't live in the UK. Of course. I'd go opening year, definitely. So that's their opinions on those questions, but what's your thoughts? Write your response in the comments down below. Now before I end this video, there's something I haven't covered, and that's why the park was cancelled. And the truth is, I don't have an answer. If you think you may know why it's been cancelled, send a message on Twitter or Facebook or in the comments down below, and if I get enough information about this, I'll make a part 2 of this video. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to be notified when new videos are released. My name's Luke from Coast Connection, and I'll see you in my next video.